Hi everyone, it's Tamara here for La La Land Crafts making a Fiesta inspired card today using the I Chihuahua clear stamp set from La La Land Crafts. I'll be doing some Copic colouring of the Chihuahuas and then the card making tutorial. So let's get started with some colouring. As you know, I love my ink blending, so I'll be doing an ink blended background using Distress Oxide's Squeeze Lemonade, Spiced Marmalade and Abandoned Coral. And I have sped up the ink blending and I'll be using my sponge domes to do the application. So I'll work through this quickly for you, but this is a beautiful blend and perfect for a Fiesta card. Just keep working in circular motions between the colours until you're happy with your blend. I've grabbed some banner paper from the At The Carnival paper pack and I'm going to use this as a frame to go around my ink blended panel. I've also grabbed my rounded stitch rectangle dies and using the largest die I'm going to cut out an opening in my panel. All the measurements for my card front um, and card stock are all in the description below. So I'm just measuring to make sure that I've got an even amount of space on each side, but it was a little bit over. So I'm just moving it slightly over to the left, taping that down again, and I'll just grab my ruler, make sure that that's again in the correct amount of space on either side which that looks really good and we'll also check top and bottom because I want it really centered so I'll take that to the die cutting machine and we've cut out our frame for our panel and that fits perfectly over our ink blended panel which I've already pre-cut down so nothing says fiesta to me like streamers and banners so I've grabbed the streamers dies and also some scrap cardstock from my stash and just in varying uh, colors that will match in with both my background panel and also my frame. So I've got a teal, a yellow, a green and a purple and I'm just roughly placing out where I want them to sit on the card front. So we'll just pop the uh, purple in there and just do the green over the top. Just check that with the frame and that looks like it will work well. To help me place these, I've just grabbed my tweezers and just putting a small amount of glue on the banner. I'm just going to gently place this onto the cardstock. 
just be careful that you don't let any of the uh, glue squeeze out onto your ink blended panel because it can mark it so just use small little dobs of glue as you're placing that on the streamers just give that a gentle press down check with the frame that that's all hidden behind at the top and then we'll just place the yellow one over the top of the teal so yeah just placing beautiful and then we'll finish off with the green over the purple and then we'll just check with the frame once more that that's all in place now I'm wanting to pop the frame up off the actual panel so that we can stick our dogs kind of into the into the background. So I'm just actually applying the um, foam tape to the actual background ink blended panel um, because that way you know that it's actually the right amount of um, area to fit under that frame and you're not putting it on the wrong spot on the frame and then trying to line it up. I find that lines up a lot better and won't show. So I'm just going to gently fold these over so that we can just try and place our frame and you'll see I really need to do that. I do have to remove it in a moment. So doing that only partially really helps you to make sure that you line everything up well. So when you see this you'll see that it is quite out of alignment so I'm just going to pull that off and because it's not fully stuck down it's much easier to do so. So let's just line that up again and it's still slightly out but it still works because you can't see that background panel but it's a lot um, better lined up and that kind of tucked in then and we'll give that a press. Now I also cut out some of the pinwheel dies. In the end you'll see that I don't use this but I wanted to show you how easily these guys um, assemble together. So I did use the teal and the yellow cardstock and the background die. You can see that you can just use a, a small brad so I used a blue to match in with the colours to just attach that and that just works beautifully. So in the end it was just a bit too busy with my um, chihuahuas that I found that it was just too much to have those there but I wanted to show you this process if you did want to actually attach this I think if you made a bigger card um, these would work really well but because my card was a little bit on the smaller side it was just a bit too busy once the chihuahuas went on so you'll see me apply everything and then in a moment you'll see where I've actually ripped it off the cardstock and then I have to do some strategic placement as you'll see coming up. So we'll just apply that last one so you can see that I put a little bit of glue where it hits on the frame and then the actual tape that sits on the actual blended background. So you'll see where I have actually removed those so it, thankfully it didn't leave any marks on my a blended panel you can see once those uh, chihuahuas go on it would have just been too busy with those pinwheels there and I think it would just detract from those gorgeous chihuahuas and I wanted them to be the main highlight. So thankfully I was able to cut a couple of more streamers and they fit perfectly over those little spots that were pulled off um, by the glue. You'll see me here accidentally put some glue over where it's going to be over the void of the um, blended background. So you only just needed to um, apply it to either end. So that fully covers that blemish on the paper up. So sometimes you can change your mind and you can strategically place other things to cover up some boo-boo sometimes. So don't ever throw a project away because you may be able to save it like I was able to save this card. So, and I think just adding those extra streamers just adds more fun to the fiesta. Now you can see my other boo-boo down the bottom. What a perfect place to place the sentiment. So I've got a little bit of foam tape on the end on the right and just a little bit of glue that sits over the frame on the left. 
I thought these sombreros were so adorable I had to use them on my chihuahuas so I've kind of colored them up in some traditional colors so with black with a gold band and I thought that would work nicely with that really bright background and still kind of show off the chihuahua in all his glory so I'm just going to kind of pop that one kind of tilted to the side and those chihuahuas are just so adorable so we're going to pop some foam tape up on our chihuahuas because they're going to be sitting in that void and I want them kind of up at level with that frame so this one's going to be fully over the ink blended panel and I'm just going to have his little tail sitting over our sentiment so you'll just see me attaching him here with his little tail sticking over that fiesta sentiment so with this chihuahua he has a little bit of um, like a little bit of him hanging over the void and then a little bit on the frame so we need a little bit of foam tape on that side just trim down to fit and then glue on his right hand side so we'll get our tweezers and we'll apply him make sure he's standing up the way he's posing there make sure he's aligned and that's him done I've picked a teal cardstock to kind of highlight the teal that's in the banner frame and I thought the teal would work beautifully with that kind of yellow and orange ink blended background so the card base measures nine and three quarters by six and a quarter and I'm just doing it landscape and the actual cardstock for the banner uh, measures in total six inches by four and a half inches and this is the finished card for this week these chihuahuas are just so adorable and I think you could do so much with them they'd be perfect for any type of celebration and I think anyone that would receive these would absolutely love it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please hit the like button and leave a comment and please hit subscribe if you'd like to see any future videos thanks so much for watching have a great day bye